Hello guys and welcome to 3D HP. My name is Jerry and I've got goodies in the mail. Right after this I'll show you what I got. And we're back. A company called Giant Arm, which is a G-Tech company, just uh, contacted me and they want me to try out some of their filament and they sent me out three rolls. I've got a roll of silk copper, a roll of silk gold, and a roll of white PLA. Let's check it out. We're going to be printing some cool stuff with this. Okay, here's a roll of silk copper. And it's vacuum sealed real tight, as most companies do. It's round. It's wound very tight. It has a desk pack in it, obviously. Let's take a peek at it. Wow, that's a pretty color. That looks really nice. It's wound very well. It's got their label on it, so that well, some companies, when I get filament, they don't have their stick on their sticker. It doesn't have their name. So if you run low or run out, you're like, well, where'd that come from? I don't know. So that's cool. They put their name on it at least. Yes, PLA 1.75 millimeter, made in China, one kilogram. And it reminds you that after you use the filament, it has a little yellow sticker here reminding you to stick the filament in the side here. That way it doesn't unspool and tangle on you. And then you have a huge problem and you got to unroll a mile of it and roll it back up if that happens. So that's really nice. Let's see if we have any stickers in the box. Nope, but we have the famous bag from G-Tech that Giant Arm is now sending. So when you're done with your filament, you throw your desiccant pack in here with the filament and uh, store it to keep moisture out. Jump over here to the next one. Oh, that's a real pretty gold. That's a very nice gold. And I'm glad these, these rip open. Some of these you got to really fight them and tug on them, but it's nice when they rip open easy. And the same labeling on it. Very nice, very nice. Those are two very nice colors. Yeah, more and more I'm starting to print things in colors and not necessarily paint them. So... Because I typically print and paint, but you know how my painting goes. I eventually get around to it. And then we got a roll of white, which also has your name on it and the label reminding you to uh, um, put your film up when you're, when you're done printing with it. A little tiny desk and pack. And this one does not have a bag in, in with it to store in. But this is a different type of packing, different type of box. Different type of spool. Seems to be wound just fine. So, I got some garbage here. I got some extra boxes. I've got some two out of three bags to store the filament in. Desiccant pack. Now it's time to go grab some models, slice them, throw them on a printer, and print some goodies. Before we get to printing, let's check out Giant Arm over on Amazon. And they've got black, blue, green, gray, copper, gold, and they're white. And uh, if you have Prime, you'll get free shipping. And if you're outside of the U.S. and you can't use one of my links, I have links to some loose company down below. But, yeah, it looks really nice. Let's print some goodies. <laughs> Well, I've been printing all week with Giant Arm Filament from G-Tech. And, yeah, I got a lot of goodies here. All these prints are by Fotis Mint. He's got some really awesome work in detail. We got Michael Myers here in gold. Came out really nice. I printed this on my CR-10. I still have a few supports here and there that I have to uh, remove. But the bust came out really nice. And then we've got a Jason. And, of course, the base is removable. It's two-piece, like with a resin print. 
and I printed this from my Hypercube. And I'm finally getting my Hypercube dialed in really nice. Came out really good. And my I slice was simplified 3D. My layers were 644. And I believe I had 5 or 6% infill on these. Came out really good. Came out very nice. It's got a little cleaning up to do here and there. And then I can prime it and paint it. Or I'll just leave it gold. I'm not sure. I kind of like the gold. You know, a lot of things I have painted. And it's nice working with colors and leaving things just their natural look. Yeah, it looks really great. And here's Walter White from Breaking Bad. He's printed in their copper. Came out beautiful. Really nice. Very, very nice. Um, removing the supports around his eyes, I did break his frame of his glasses, so I need to glue that in one little spot there. It needs some minor little touch-up. But yeah, it's beautiful. Came out great. Came out great. Of course, the base is separate. Very nice. And then I got Master Chief from Halo, printed in white, giant arm. Printed this in my TiVo Tarantula Pro. And I believe, yeah, my print temperatures were 210 and 60 on the bed, on all the filament here. We got Darth Vader, also printed in white. Not very nice. That was also printed in my TiVo Tarantula Pro. And we have the Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt. Uh, you older people remember this from back in the day. I see recently on uh, cable that they came out with a newer version, where it's a cartoon version, I believe it is. And the Crypt Keeper looks different. But here's the original look from back in the day, back in the 80s. The Crypt Keeper. Very nice. And then from Kate Chelsea at Kalos Cortec, here's Stay Puff from Ghostbusters. Small little stay puff man I did. I believe he's done at 150% scale. Also printed on my TiVo Tarantula Pro. I have a little stringing around the fingers I have to get off here and there. I'll pick off what I can and I can take a heat gun and you know knock them down carefully. And then uh, Chris, Chris Riley likes using these spool holders quite a bit. So I went over in Thingiverse and I downloaded the file. It print, you know, each rod obviously prints separately, and then you got two pieces, and they just screw together. There's nuts here you can unscrew. It's all plastic, obviously, friend and copper, and got a little spool holder there. One of my printers doesn't have a mechanic metal spool holder to put on the top, so I got a portable one here that I can use for filament. <clears throat> but yeah, everything printed really nice. I had no issues with their filament. Uh, uh, G Tech and Giant Arm filament seems to be very rugged and durable. It's not frail and breaks real easy. It seems to be a real good filament. I had no clogging issues, no problems with it whatsoever. So, yeah. Um, I have a little bit left of the white, a little bit of the gold, and a little bit of the copper still left. But I did burn up most of my filament on these larger prints on a roll. But, yeah, it's printed really nice. Here, I'll throw some pictures up so you can watch them. And uh, if you'd like to buy this filament, I'll have an affiliate link to Amazon where you can buy this filament. Or if you're not here in the U.S. and you can't use the affiliate link, um, there's a, I'm an affiliate with Sunlu also. You can just click on their link down below and buy it. But thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share the video, and happy printing. Take care, everybody. Yeah, one other thing. I'd just like to say thank you to Photos Mint for being a great designer and having these great prints. They're awesome. They were a pleasure to print. And anybody that would like to print these, there'll be links below to where you can find Photos Mint on my mini factory and his Patreon. Thank you very much for Giant Arm, a G-Tech company. I really appreciate you sending me out this film to review and try. And I would love to review one of your multi-extrusion printers. So uh, please get in touch and I would like to do more videos. And I keep trying to make great content for everybody out there. And each and every week I try to come out with new videos when I can. I try to help the community out whenever I can. And, uh, you know, to help me out and show your thanks, there's many ways you can support me down below. If you'd like to donate to me to help me out, to help me uh, keep making these great videos. But please like, subscribe, share. I'd really appreciate it. So thank you very much, everybody. Happy printing.